Hello and welcome to New Vision TV. I am Ruth Naseje. The saying that new ideas come from the East is being borne out by the innovation by Busia leaders to improve sanitation in their border district. After cholera ravaged their area, Busia leaders started creating model homes and New Vision TV has been checking these out for you. <laughs> Guided and assisted by the government, Busia leaders have started the sanitation model to protect their district, which has continuously been hit by the cholera outbreak. We give information and these groups become like models to the community. We use them to go and give information to the community, but them themselves they must live as example. They must live by example. So a, a case in point, there is a home in Busile uh, where we visited when the Honorable uh, uh, Babide, by the way, she's one of our champions in the water school. Uh, so in that home, there is a, we, they had meetings and uh, the lady there, the lady of the home, that is the wife, took that information and transformed her home. Uh, together with the support of the husband, the husband is a former teacher, and when you actually visit that home, you find a lot of transformation. There is a lot of organization in the home. The compound, first of all, is very neat. The, the grass is kept um, short. The, bath, the, the bathrooms are locally made. The latrine is there and very clean. Dr. Achari says they resorted to creating sanitation model homes after locals failing to cope with the latrine use due to traditional perceptions. The district is currently at 87% latrine coverage. Walter Iriyama, the chief administrative officer, reveals that they are, however, still facing challenges with homes along the lakeside since the water table can't sustain the latrines. You can move to every village. People do not move very many kilometers through the water source. I think that's good enough. Because if you bring good water, then you are talking about also good water, good health, not so. So if 76 is low, yes, but it's a good coverage so far. You can, and I think drilling, uh, bowels, putting of these water sources has been on for a long time. People move a few kilometers, they don't move very many kilometers to these water sources, which is good enough. You are talking about pit latrine covering, we are at 84, which is good enough. And it was not because of all the government, it's also because of our partners, I've told you. There are also areas that they are under. He, however, appreciates the fact that the situation is bearable. This is Ali Wanyama. He's one of the lucky people who survived death by a whisker when cholera hit their district, infecting 252 and killing seven people. He, however, still uses a shadow for water collection, although leaders here argue that shadows are among the key causes of cholera. I went and operated that uh, drainage system within three days. And the third day, uh, I came back at home. Uh, I slept well. Then very early in the morning, I found myself uh, starting uh, diuretic. So by, the, by then, as I started diuretic once, I thought it is just uh, a joking matter. Uh, I, I said for three hours, then 
From then, after three hours, I started even vomiting. So I was at the same time vomiting and diarrhea at the same time. He advises on how to end the killer disease. Cholera is not a simple disease. Cholera kills. Cholera can kill you within about uh, two hours when you have gone. So, my fellow citizen, keep yourself clean. Keep the citizens clean. If at all you are found when you are not clean and you are being advised, please do so. Apart from model homes, the leadership here is equally teaching people to kill water germs by sun heating the water in plastic bottles for six hours. This, they say, will help solve the waterborne diseases, including the deadly cholera and typhoid. And in our Pearl of Africa segment, we take a look at River Nile. The River Nile is the longest river in the whole wide world. This river starts from Jinja in eastern Uganda and flows to West Nile and thereafter joins other countries. It covers over five countries, some including Sudan, Tanzania, Ethiopia, among others. The various activities done at the Nile are water rafting, bungee jumping, boat rides and also fishing. These have attracted large numbers of tourists that visit Uganda all the time. Let's take a look. River Nile is well known to be the longest river not only in Africa but also in the world. It so starts right here in Jinja district in the eastern part of Uganda. Lake Victoria happens to be the source of the River Nile as it flows north connecting to different six countries. It flows from the surrounding areas close to the equator to the outrageous safari desert and up to the eastern Mediterranean Sea. This true description of why Uganda is called the Pearl of Africa even provides power to Ugandans from the Owen Falls Dam. The dam gives electricity to the country, enabling them to carry out their daily activities. The banks of the Nile are also too fertile, hence favoring agriculture. It so happens that it's that time of the year when people start discussing where to spend their vacations. But remember, the activities to find at the Nile are water rafting, bungee jumping, water riding, and as well as fishing. And that's all we had for you. Thank you for watching. Be sure to catch us on your mobile phone, on your tablet, on your desktop, and anywhere on the go. I am Ruth Nasege.